The idea was not to create an object with a strong statement that overwhelms the environment. That's why I paired up the idea of an observatory and a chapel. When I imagined how to go up there, I thought about the idea of spiral stairways. Two individuals' trajectories of life compose the architecture. A spiral is unsteady by itself, but when it is fixed to another spiralling in the opposite direction at four different points, it allows the structure to resist the sideways pressure as well as gravity. There are various architectures in the world using spirals, but I think we are the first to make a freestanding structure in this way. The stairways perform as roofs, walls and eaves. By entwining the stairways creatively, they perform unconventional roles, and we succeeded in creating a pure form of architecture using stairways. As they climb the stairs, I would like the couple to reflect on their lives, being born into this world, parents raising them from when you were a baby. And as you walk around, you will encounter and pass by your partner. Two separate walks of life come into one at the summit, connecting into one string. The concept behind it is to design the pathway of experience, and I think that is one of the characteristics of Japanese architecture. That DNA runs through me too and I wanted to reflect it in my work. I think the couple's pathways of life and the architectural design become intimately linked in the chapel. I also wedded my own wife there, and it was a very special moment to have a ceremony in the building that I designed. The western sunlight is beautiful. As the sun sets, the chapel gradually turns into the colour of orange. And I think these moments are particularly spectacular. It is exquisite when the sun sets just behind the symbol tree and the light pours into the chapel. When you go there, this bright positive energy fills you and the spiral above makes you feel as though you are levitating. It lifts you up from within.